Okay. Hello, everyone. So, it's... What time is it? I don't even know. I... Whoa. <laughs> Just got some packages. It's 6 p.m. I just got some packages for my future hamster. And I am slowly unboxing them currently. Hello. Um, I just, so yesterday I got some packages too. I didn't unbox that because it wasn't that interesting. There wasn't that many, there wasn't that much stuff. But, oh, oh my God. I will show you what I have so far. Um, yesterday in the mail, whew, <coughs> storage bin smells. I got some of these, uh, millet snips, is that what they're called? Yeah, millet snips, uh, treats, and I got, oh, my reptile sand from sand bath, and then, um, some orchard grass, um, because I wanted to, whew, put that in between layers of bedding so that it'll be more stable and a, just another texture. Um, by the way, when I actually get the hamster and I like set up the cage, I'm gonna show you guys that so you'll see literally everything. So if I miss anything, it'll be fine because by the end of this journey, you guys will see it. Um, I got three separate um, packages today. Some of these boxes have multiple items in them, but I just opened the first package and it has my oat sprays in it. This is a huge bag. Let me tell you, I was expecting something like maybe half this size and like skinnier, um, but this is fat. I was surprised, but I'm glad because now I won't run out as quickly. Um, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I also got, um, it's like a bendable bridge, but it's like a really long one. And I think it's one of those ones that you can hook on to mesh and stuff. I'm probably not gonna do that. Um, I'll just bury it under the bedding or cut it off or something. Um, but I thought this would be super cool to use. And then I also got, oh, I'll show that later. Um, I also got some pillow moss. Can't tell, I think it might be covered in dirt. I got pillow moss, just to add another fun texture in the cage. A mini dustpan. Look at this, it's so cute. It's to, when I clean out the cage, when I deep, oh, it's connected. When I deep clean the cage, it'll be a little bit easier to get like the really dirty parts and the bottom stuff out. So I can just like, that's so cute. And I also got this. You might not know what it is from first glance. Um, I'm gonna open this at the end cause I'm gonna need room for it. Then I have one more box here. I honestly don't remember the order of the packages that they were coming in, so I don't know what's in here. Um, and I didn't bother to check on Amazon because I like surprises. Oh, I think it's only one thing, but it's a huge box. It's like this size, but it's, or maybe it's two things. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is not at all what I was expecting. It's my cork log, but it's like, I'll link this stuff down in the description below. This is all Amazon. This is the cork log I ordered. Not at all what I was thinking of. It, it, it's not what the picture showed. Um, so I might have to cut it in half because I think this end is too small. I'll have to open it up just to be sure, but this end looks a little bit too small for a hamster. Um, so I'll have to somehow chop it. There's another little box in here. I thought the cork log was it, but I guess... Oh, it's my hideout! It's my hamster hideout that I ordered. Oh no, did they send me the wrong size? I thought they would be bigger. Oh no. What do I do? Um... Maybe I just didn't read the description carefully enough. I mean... It's really small. Like the hole, oh, the hole is big enough to fit a little hammy, but it's definitely not big enough, I feel like, for a hideout. But it is cute. It's like a little log and it says House of the Mouse. Um, and it's, it, I'm not getting a mouse, but I'm getting a hamster, but I just thought it was cute. So this is not at all what I was expecting. For one, it's like flaking everywhere. For one thing, it's not the shape and the size that it showed in the picture or the description. And this whole, like, it might be big enough, but like, I don't wanna risk any fat cheeks getting stuck in that. 
also, it looks like you can't even crawl through it as a hamster. There's stuff in there. Like, do you see? There's like weird wood blockages. Maybe I can like take a knife and just like stab at it. But that's really disappointing. <laughs> I'll try and do my best to fix it and figure out a way to use it, but I really don't want no handy getting stuff in that. Let's lighten the spirit and show you guys this. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure where I'm getting my hamster. I definitely want to adopt. I don't want to buy one from PetSmart or Petco or whatever because I hate them. Um, I hate buying live animals from them. And I really don't know if I'm going to get a doll or a little youngin. Um, so I'm trying to figure out different ways to like be able to tame them. And I didn't really have enough money after this to buy the actual free roaming um, barrier wall thing that I was going to build. So I got this instead to start out. I'm definitely going to buy the other thing in the future. Oh, this got springs in it. Hold on. Let me put you on the floor. I don't know how big this is gonna be. But it's a little like, oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, it's a little, um, like, I don't even know. I'll just like try and open it. Wait, which way is the bottom? This way is the bottom. Right? Oh my god, it's really big. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Oh god. Okay, let's angle. Woo! Okay, it fits perfectly in here. Um, it kind of looks like a little kiddie pool for like a ball pit. Um, but it's... <laughs> I'm gonna use it to like spend time with the little hammy. It's like a lot big. Here, let me show you. I don't know if it's easy to tell on camera or not, but like you can, I could probably have my other friends in here and we could just like, oh shoot, and we could just like chill. Like I feel like that's plenty of room for starting out like spending time with your hamster. It's kind of like being in a bathtub. <laughs> Um, no, this is great. I love this. Wow. This made me feel a lot better about my hamster purchases today. <laughs> um, why is it so, like, zoomed in? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. I want you guys to, like, see the pool in the background. Okay, well, we had a couple disappointments with our packages today. Um, and I will try to make the cork log work. If not, I'll just find something else that can work. Um, when time gets closer to when I'm actually going to adopt a hamster, I'm also getting a um, regular, like, thick bendable bridge that can form kind of a hideout, um, but I want, like, a real hideout, um, and, like, tunnels and stuff. So I'll see what I can do about that, and I'll see if the little hideout works as well. Um, it might work out for the best just because the cage I have is on the smaller side. Right now it's over, it's a bin cage, I'm still kind of building. It's over 600 square inches. Um, but I originally wanted like 800 square inches and the store did not have the bin for some reason. They said it wasn't stock. It wasn't, I don't know. I was mad. Um, but considering the space I'm living in, it's probably for the best right now. I'm going to be moving out, um, soon in a few months into a bigger place anyway. So it doesn't really matter, um, as much because I'll be upgrading the cage in a few months. Um, so with that will come, you know bigger um, igloos and more decorations, more like, I'm going for a natural theme, so like more wood, um, obstacles and stuff like that. And I will also take you guys along the journey of me like getting treats and like all the other stuff. I'm mostly ordering stuff online, um, so it won't be a lot of that. And then I'll definitely vlog once I get the hamster. Um, I'm thinking of adopting from like a shelter. I know there's good websites out there. Um, I can put like links in the description and stuff if you guys want or, you know, whatever's best for you. Um, also, if you didn't know, PetSmart sometimes has ha have hamsters up for adoption, like in the back for free, rather than actually buying the hamsters that come from the rodent mills. So if you call your local PetSmart, they might have that too. I don't know if that's something you'd want to do. But I did try that and they don't have any hamsters available, so I'm going with um, this, uh, I think it's a shelter online, 
and they're located here in my state, which is really hard to find. And I was really lucky that they transport um, and travel as much as they do to get the hamsters to the right homes. That's really, really nice. Um, and that's gonna help me out a lot. I'll put the link obviously for everything in below, like I keep saying, um, but I ordered this version because every other version was either too expensive or it was like this and had mesh. And obviously mesh is not good because hamsters can just climb it or tear through it, like chew through it. Um, and then another option was like, you get half of this fabric um, from this half like down to the bottom and then the top half is mesh. But I thought, okay, but like a hamster could just legit like stretch its long little tiny body and jump and it could reach the mesh. So I didn't want to chance that. And this was the only option I could find that was like this, um, but like this uh, fabric all around. I know it's kind of ugly and kiddish looking, but I don't really care. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and I will see you guys when I see you guys next, <laughs> um, either in this video or next time I upload a video. It's a different day, and I decided to, um, to, oh, uh, I decided to put some other hamster supplies in this empty closet, and I actually, it's kind of hard to see, it's a little dark, but as you can tell, I have some more bedding here, and then I also have some food. I am going to be using this hamster food, Higgins Sunburst Seed Mix, which is a really good brand. This has been controversial on Amazon. I got this from PetSmart. This was a PetSmart pickup order, but I saw on Amazon that they think they changed like the formula or something and it's not as soft and it's really papery. And I noticed, I mean, I wasn't going to do this, but I might as well now that I've started talking about it bring these out in the light for you guys to see better. When I got back, I actually looked at these a little bit closer and I noticed that they're oh, like slightly different colors. This one is more like grayish and like it kind of, well, it kind of looks like shredded paper almost. Like it's still pretty fluffy looking. But if you put it next to this one, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. But this one looks like a really bright white and really fluffy compared to this one. It's it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but I see it. Like, this one looks so white and fluffy, which was what I was kind of expecting from this bedding. Um, and then this one just looks kind of like paper, like rough. And I have no idea. Maybe I'll test the textures. I really don't want to open two bags of bedding at once. But yeah, also, I don't know if I mentioned in the previous clips, but I was planning on getting one 85 liter bag, but they were sold out. So I got two 49 liter bags and I don't know if it'll be enough, but this is what I have so far. Hey, okay, so it's been about a week. I'm filming this in the future. It's been about a week 
since I've adopted my hamster, his name is Ash. I didn't end up filming the first moment where I put him in the cage and like let him explore everything for the first time and all that because I was pretty distracted trying to get Ash in the cage because I didn't want him to be in his little carrier longer than necessary. Um, so I accidentally left my phone in the car, but I think it was better that way. I just really wanted to be kind of all hands on deck with that. But I did film a few different clips um, throughout this past week of just him kind of like exploring, eating, running, and all that. So I will put together a montage for you guys to watch at the end of this. Ash is still about three to four months old, so he's a pretty small searing hamster, and he's still a little bit, a little baby, and he's really, really cute. Um, as you can tell by the pronouns I've been using, he is a male, so he has a big old, a big old bottom area, and it's really funny. And he is actually. The first day he was actually pretty comfortable with the cage setup and everything. He was exploring quite a bit and he was running on his wheel and he, he just seemed really comfortable with everything. But after the first day, he got a little bit more shy, spent more time in his hideout um, and nothing seemed wrong. I don't think anything's wrong. Uh, he just is sleeping and eating and I think is coming out when it's completely dark, when I turn off all the lights and then go to sleep. Uh, so I don't really get to see him that often and he, usually when he gets up to eat, I usually see him get up to eat and then he goes back into his hideout. Um, that usually happens around 1 to 2 a.m. So I'm not really like able to stay up to watch him all like as much as I'd like to, um, which is a bummer, but I, I'm just going to give him some more time to get a little bit comfortable with everything. So far I've been scatter feeding him every other day. I've been feeding him the Sunburst Higgins Seed Mix, I think. People in the hamster world know about that and then I'm mixing it with the Missouri rat and mouse uh, block diet for protein and then like I said that's every other day and then on the days I'm not doing that I'm giving him fruits and veggies and something funny I found out I don't think he really likes fruit as much as vegetables because anytime I put out like a little piece of lettuce or broccoli or cucumber or something like that he eats that like right away um, and I put out raspberry one day, he didn't touch it. I put out strawberry last night, he didn't touch it until it was like the last thing he could have eaten, um, which I thought was strange because I bought a whole box of raspberries and strawberries, so I guess I'm just gonna have to eat that myself. He's also super comfortable with drinking out of his water dish. I don't have a water bowl, I mean a water bottle. I have a little glass, uh, like, candle holder. It's like, it's supposed to be a candle holder, but I use it as a water dish. Um, I was pretty worried that he wouldn't be able to figure out how to drink out of it just because I think he'd been using a water bottle previously but he is very comfortable with doing that now as well as using the sand bath which I know some hamsters either don't really use in the way people expect them to like they don't really roll around they sort of just like crawl in there and don't really do anything but he uses the sand bath he digs and rolls around and it's really cute so I'm really glad he does those things. He's also been burrowing. I saw him burrowing the first couple of days, um, which was really cute because I've never seen that before. Hamsters I've owned previously, it was a really long time ago, so the knowledge of hamsters burrowing and having the right amount of bedding wasn't really known as much as it probably should have been. So seeing that for the first time with a hamster that I own myself was really, really rewarding and really fun to watch. and. Before you guys saw this, obviously you saw the building of the inside of the cage, me putting it together, um, and watching me build up all that bedding with the grass in between so that he could burrow properly. So that was just really nice to see. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now and let you guys watch the little montage I put together of the videos I filmed of Ash. So I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> 